Good morning. It is Sunday, October the 23rd. We'll be getting started here in just a moment, but first, if uh, you are not already subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscription button. Uh, you only need to do it one time. If you click on the little bell, it will notify you when I upload new content. Um, if you like my videos, give me a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know what you like, what you don't, what resonates. Uh, make suggestions for other content you'd like to see me to create. Share my videos with your friends. All of these things are free for you. But they will raise me in the algorithms and help my channel to grow. And I truly appreciate all that you do. Uh, to support this channel to help it to grow. So let's get right to our reading. Hope you're ready with your coffee or tea because we got a lot of messages from Spirit today. In the position of the body, we begin with the Nine of Pentacles, and that's about prosperity, success, rewards, and comfort. And you are one pinnacle away from having it all. You're in a sun, uh, solid financial um, future. Living in comfort and abundance. You're in the process of developing self-worth and self-discipline, which will help you hold on to your material wealth. Balance your material for the spiritual. Give thanks and gratitude for all that you've received. In the position of the heart. Uh, we begin with the queen of pentacles and she's generous, nurturing, comfortable, living in luxury. And, but she's also business savvy and she inspires people to do their best. She's constantly preparing for her future. Security is important to you. Make a plan and a checklist. Um, you want the best and you won't stop until you find him or her, and this queen don't settle. And that was paired with the Ace of Swords, which is about clarity and ideas, breakthroughs, and success. Success is assured being paired with that Queen of Pentacles. But you have a strong sense of mental clarity right now, and we'll cut somebody out because you know that you're right. Use your mental clarity to tap into your intuition. You have insight to a situation that you didn't see before. You have the free will to use your sword for peace or war, but cut right to the heart of the matter. A strong tongue may be called for to be direct. Start making plans for the future so that you can so they can manifest themselves. Maybe a business proposal. In the position of the mind, we begin with the king of swords. We've got a lot of court energy here on the board today. We've got two queens and a king. Um, so in, in the position of the mind, we start with the king of swords. Uh, he's clear-minded, logical, analytical, and authoritative. Um, use your head over your heart. Analyze and... Um, See it, uh, 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 that it's time to let something go. Kings represent endings. Um, you have to wrap your mind around a new idea or identity uh, about yourself. You're playing a game of chess here. What is your next strategic move? Are you following your intuition? Is your life stable? It's time to use logic and reason. He's paired with the Four of Swords, which says that it's time to rest, to recuperate, to heal, and for self-care. And you need to take a break from work or that relationship. Heal and restore yourself by silencing your mind. This is the peace before the next stage. Think about all the things you're grateful for. Meditate and all other forms of self-care. It's a time of stability, order, and reason. Allow yourself the sleep that you need to restore your mind. 
In the messages from spirit, we have the queen of cups and she's intuitive, emotional, nurturing, and compassionate. And you're letting your emotions take over. This queen is also very intuitive. So she must use them together without getting lost in her own world. She's not a good problem solver, but she excels as a good emotional support system. She's dreamy, romantic, and very feminine. So feel your emotions and understand them. On the bottom of the deck, we have the seven of wands. And this is about courage, conviction, defense, and protection. Everyone is not out to get you. But be mindful that your feelings may be more an illusion than reality. There are many options here. Try them all. You can do it on your own. You have the strength and the courage for victory. You will win if you remain calm and logical. Our overall energy for the day was personal guide, a guardian angel or spirit family. And it says this card brings messages of devotion from powerful spirits who are close to you. It reveals two special spirits who have been with you since birth, your personal guide and your guardian angel. Your personal guide serves as a pipeline to the important wisdom and mysteries of the universe. This guide is with you at the most important moments of your life, bringing valuable information in times of personal transformation. So notice when you have an epiphany about a difficult situation or a spark of awareness or a flash of courage just when you need it most. That's the energy of your personal guide whose love and inspiration always empowers you. The other spirit signified here is your ever-present guardian angel. And this wonderful being has been with you every moment of your life, bringing profound love, protection, peace, and personal inspiration. There's no end to the valuable gifts this angel can offer you. And since he or she is always with you, those blessings can be shared at any time. Communicate with this loving being often to forge a deeper relationship. The sense of support you receive will be liberating. So, we have a lot going on today. First and foremost, let me remind you that there, there, there are one, two, three, three swords on, on, on the table. Swords is about, if you noticed, you kept hearing the words logical over and over and over. Um, we kept hearing about, uh, yes, feel your emotions. The queen says, feel your emotions identify them, name them, understand them. But overall, keep logic and reading, reason. Follow your head, not your heart. Be compassionate and be kind. You always want to be compassionate and be kind. But we've also got the strength and the courage to do what we know needs to be done in our situation. And our king of swords is reminding us that this is a chess game. What is your next strategic move look like? What's in your best interest for your stability and for your material wealth and for your peace of mind? And there's going to be, you know, a king is an ending, an ace is a beginning. They're both swords. And, and so, you know, this is going to be the, the ending of something, obviously. But you've got everything you need here for this new beginning and, and, and how you um, recreate yourself and the things that you want for yourself. And you've got the personal guides. You've got the guardian angel and the spirit family right there at the tip of your fingertips. All you've got to do is tap into that intuition and use it. But more importantly than all of that, be grateful for everything that you've received up to this point. Give thanks. Be grateful that you've got that guardian angel, that you have those spirit guides who are there for you and wants everything that's for you and your greatest and highest good. And have a wonderful and a marvelous day. <music>